Yeah. So, uh, forgot to record the deployment, but anyways, he uh, deployed all these guys out, um, like such. Uh, so on his first turn, he moved everybody up. Uh, as as such, he did his get launches. Did three wounds onto the gargantula. Um, they charged my spider riders and killed all five. And I think that was it for his first turn. He has no magic, um, and then it'll be my first turn right now. This is how I deployed, and we will come back after that. Rather unsuccessful orcs and goblins first turn. I yeah, well, mine is unsuccessful. I literally did nothing. Uh, he got minus two to everything. You did manage to misfire two war machines. And I misfired two war machines. It's part of my fantastic war machines. So, um, got minus two to initiative, movement, uh, ballistic skill, and weapon skill on the Gargantula. And I stomped, I jumped my wolf riders onto the guys over there. Um, they fired to nothing, they fired to nothing. He misfired, he misfired. He did nothing, he did nothing, and he did nothing. So much for my crappy <laughs> artillery. All right, on to Orcs and Goblins turn two, or turn after this. No, so my turn will be over. Um, so what happened here is Spider Riders, his Spider Riders charged my skewer, killed it, overran. Um, he put another three wounds onto him. He now has two wounds left. Um, everybody moved up. They shot. I saved it. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. No magic. So now it is on to my turn. Two. I charged the spider riders over here. Killed them all. Uh, my stone thrower hit him for four wounds. Um, the skewer did kill him, I think. Um, Skewer killed him. Yeah. Uh, these guys charged the, the, the Nasher Dashers, the dead. Um, he destroyed both the Skewer and the um, Git Launcher. And I was refaced so he can run into them. Uh, the Nasher Dashers are fleeing. And that is the end of two. turn two. We now move on to turn three. So he charged him with his giants. Um, I uh, killed him, and the charge of these black orcs failed. Um, they killed the stone thrower, overran to the skewer. Uh, he killed that stone thrower. Um, yeah, I think it's, that's pretty much it. And now it's going to be my turn three. I'm going to get to do this combat right here, but um, so we'll take care of that after this. But uh, what happened is he killed the gargantula. I charged him with my... Uh, force goblins. Uh, I did 13, he did 16. Um, I lost by one and stuck on a seven with a reroll. Um, the skewer killed the giant along with the git, git launcher. Um, and that's pretty much it. Once this is done, it'll be probably that'll be dead. Uh, and then we're moving on to orcs and goblins turn four. So this is uh, turn four. He wiped out my horse goblins, overran, got him by two inches, uh, reformed with them, and this is what the board looks like. Um, so we will see what goes on the next turn. Here's what happened. Uh, Nasher's going to the Black Orcs and with my general, kill all but one. Uh, he flees, he gets a seven, I get a six. I uh, shot in here, did two more wounds uh, with the skewer, which is going to be charged this next turn. Um, these guys are gone from Evil Eye, and my general has one wound left. Hopefully, it does not get killed by these guys. <laughs> that would be a shame. Oh, I do still have my potion of speed, so... There you go. Um, these guys are still here. Uh, they're just turned fleeing. around. They're fleeing. They're fleeing, yep. So, it is on to his turn five. five. Turn five. Um, continue fleeing. They rallied. Uh, they moved up out of the charge arc, and he killed the skewer and ran into those guys. Uh, and now it's my turn. So it's going to be uh, turn six. Nash and Ashes are gone. All he has left is this guy and those. Um, if he rallies on a four or not, they might go off the board. Um, I'm expecting a charge right here. So we'll uh, 
Come back after that. So, uh, this is what the uh, scores came out to. He got 1590 out of me. I got uh, 1250 out of him. So it was a minor, minor loss for me. Minor win for him. Still a pretty good game. <clears throat> There's a lot of fluffing going on with our, uh, with our, with our characters. And artillery. Yeah, fluffed quite a bit. Um, as you can see, he's got three wounds on him. He's got one wound left. Uh, so it was, it was his get launch, just crapping the shit out of him. Um, I threw five dice at Evil Eye in an attempt to kill that, and uh, he he six diced it. So I can only throw five. Um, but yeah, that was the end of the game. Wow. It was fun. Good game, though. Pretty quick, too. I'm going to, uh, I'm going back to my other list. Giants are gone. Yeah, Giants are giants kind are of, I, I, I've, I played Giants once and, um, never again after that. It's fun. They're fun to play, but they're no good. Yeah. They're really no good. They're, they're kind of a waste. And... Because even when I got in, that one got in fresh on the side of your spider and didn't do a single, well, did a wound because he had yeah. butted you. Yeah, but you're in your, your get launches were doing the most amount of damage to the, to the spider. The spider, that was a massive then, amount of damage to I him. I had three pieces of artillery shoot two turns in a row at him and couldn't yeah. finish him. <laughs> He's impervious to being shot. I was, I was so convinced he was going to be dead. Everyone tells me not to take him because of being shot at. Yeah. And, you know, every single game I've had him, never died from being shot. Really? Yeah. He's always been either killed in close combat or that was it. That's amazing. And he does pretty well. He does really well in combat. I really like that squeaker unit. Yes, those are yeah, a 50 man unit of these guys is only 350. So right. And they could do, they could put out way more, way more damage than the iron orcs can. 350. I've got 20 iron orcs. That cost, what, two something? Which costs three fifty. Three fifty for exactly. twenty. So well, you can get twenty three fifty full command and the forty point banner. You can get I can get that. Fifty of these guys for less than what you paid for your twenty iron orcs. So really there's nothing that can beat point for point. Nothing in the Orcs and Goblins army that can beat a unit of these guys. No, I don't think so. Nothing. The only the so only reason I kinda need to keep my iron iron orcs is I want that forty point banner and they're the only ones that can take it unless I put it on the BSP. Yeah. The one that lets me dispel and take no mages. Yeah, it's tough. Well, you can take a veteran banner on them and then a veteran banner on your... Yeah, Because they take a magic banner, they take a veteran banner. Yeah, but that's still only 25 each. Yeah. The banner's only 25, and the banner I need is 40. Mm. And they're the only one that... The Black Orcs are the only ones that can take a 40-point banner. The dead Black Orcs. Yeah. <laughs> No one else in the army can take that. Must boar boys? Can boar boys? Yeah, they can take a magic. They can take a magic standard. You have to get the. You have to get the special, the mounted head bashers. Can they take a fifty point magic standard? Though? That's what we'll look up. I believe so. Because that would be my other option for. Uh, I think all the magical standards are. If a unit can take magical standards, maybe it's twenty five. No, it's limited to. Like I know orcs can take a. The biggins, like the head bashers, can take a 25 point banner. Yeah, 25 point veteran banner. Correct. I can just look it up real quick. But uh, okay. yeah, that was the game.